This video will explain how we will manage firehouse inventory records and how we will attach those records to an apparatus. We would like to maintain the firehouse records in four different ways. The first way would be capital equipment that has an inventory property ID. So the record would be set up this way with the county property ID as the inventory ID and then the corresponding serial number located in the record. The second type of record that we will maintain will be an item that has a serial number but is not a capital item. This item will be stored with the serial number as the inventory ID and should have the same corresponding serial number located in the record. The third type of inventory record will not have a property ID or serial number but a firehouse generated inventory ID. These type of records will be items like hydrant hookup kit, toolbox, radio training set, or any other uh, inventory record that needs other items attached to it to create a group of items. The fourth inventory record type will be generic records. These records will be maintained by the warehouse in correspondence with our purchasing agreements and the type of equipment that we intend to keep in stock and that are standard to us. So as you see here, the rubber mallet is set up and it is listed as generic. These records are able to be attached to multiple apparatus. They're used for the requisitions. So they are used by the uh, entire county and all stations. This section will be linking equipment with a unique ID such as a county property ID or serial number. Click inventory, click browse, and it will open up a list of equipment at your station. It should be in order by inventory class. If not, you can you can double click inventory class and it will put it in order from A to Z. If you want to search it by description, you can double click description and then it will put it in order from A to Z by description. But we want to open up apparatus, so that will be right here at the top. So we can double click this item. So this is the piece of equipment or apparatus that we want to attach other equipment to. This is the inventory ID or property ID of ladder 12 that we'll be using for this example and it's 59221. So to attach equipment to this apparatus, click browse and select the items that you want to attach. I will attach these three radios here. So you can do it by going to linked to inventory ID and type in the property ID or inventory ID number 59221 and then you'll want to put the location in the apparatus. So if you go to apparatus locations you will see it's broken down cab, hose beds, left, rear, right, uh, trailer locations, walk-in locations. This radio belongs particularly to the nozzleman and you can notice in the notes here it's also listed this way. And we'll click Save. Then we can go to the next radio. We can also link it to the apparatus by clicking the button here which will also bring up uh, inventory queries and then you can see the apparatus is the first one. Just double click it and then it puts that property ID there. The apparatus location for this one is the officer. We'll save this record and click the arrow to go to the next record. And again, Five nine two two one, and this particular radio 
is a spare. So it is just located in the front of the apparatus. Click Save. And then these, this equipment is linked to Ladder 12. Next, we will link generic equipment to Ladder 12. Click Inventory. Click Browse. CEOs here. And open up the apparatus record. Now we will go to Linked Equipment. Click Add. And this will bring up the generic equipment window. This query brings up all the generic equipment in alphabetical order. So if I want to go to AX and type AX and double click the location, go to apparatus locations, and then go to locations in the cab and this will be located in the iron seat and there's a quantity of one Type new Now we will link a unique item to an apparatus and link generic equipment to that item. Click Inventory, Browse, open the item that you wish to attach to the apparatus. It's location. Now that the hydrant kit is linked to ladder 12, I will link all the equipment that is in the hydrant kit.
Now we will look at the linked equipment and open up a uh, checkoff sheet. So if we want to go to inventory, click browse, we can open up the apparatus. And if we go to linked inventory, and then we can see the generic equipment, but if we go to equipment hierarchy, now we can see all the equipment that is attached to the apparatus. As well as and then these are these on it you can open these up. These are the air packs that are attached to your apparatus. And then you can see here in the hydrant kit that we have these items connected to the hydrant bag. We can also go to reports, favorite reports, apparatus and equipment, and then we have checkoff sheet, checkoff without hose, checkoff sheet without hose and columns.